Hey guys, John here, and um, this is a video. Uh, it's a video update first. Um, my gaming, my gaming's doing good. Actually, um, last Friday, I my I finished the first level, the first module of my Dragonlance game. So I finished the first module on that. We're doing move this Friday. We're gonna run the second module, Dragons of Flame. That's gonna be fun. Um, the AD and D, the AD and D game on Saturday. Um, played my dad's Greyhawk game. Fun. It's against the board. It's really fun. Really digging with it. I'm glad. Um, but anyway, this is a bit of a response. Really does not have much to do about D and D, but this has to do with something kind of a bit of how much really I guess how how much of a nerd I am and how much my childhood was sort of imagination. I just watched a video about the Legend of Zelda about the Tetra Force theory, and it's like well, if you, um, I'm assuming we're all familiar with the Legend of Zelda. If you're not. I'm not going to explain that here. You can go find, go play, go play the games or go find a video online. They're out there. Trust me. Um, the, the touch of force theory is that there is a fourth Triforce piece in the Legend of Zelda, in the Legend of Zelda Triforce. Well, this is all fine and dandy. And the video I watched, which I'll have a link in the description about it, goes through a lot of possible theories. However, I would like to go. I would like to kind of go on the record that that not, not that I kind of created this theory, but that me and my friend back in 2008, when we were in elementary school, came up with something very similar. All right, to put this in perspective, um, me and my friend. Um, big Zelda players. He, he's, st we still are. He's even bigger than me. And we kind of, we kind of wrote slash played a game, basically a Legend of Zelda fan fiction, which was basically. Link is sent out to this, I think it was a, uh, an ancient city, um, or some, it was something like that, but eventually it led to him finding this person, this other man, and he had one, one arm, he only had one arm, and his name was Try, and Try ended up being the Triforce Guardian, or what we call, and he had the fourth Triforce piece. And kind of, it, it kind of started like he was the, um, he was the brother of Princess Zelda. Because he gets cool. And he was basically sent away by the king because the two Zelda and Tri together were very powerful. Um, and, um, because, you know, you have two Triforce pieces, you know. So, Tri went away, and eventually he, I, I think we said it was Termina, you know, the place where Majora's Mask took place. Yeah, I, I think we said he was there, because we wanted to work Termina into, into Zelda somehow, um, into the grand scheme of things. And, yeah, it, it was just cool. It was so it did it cool, and eventually we did it where, um, since he only had one arm, the sword, uh, his his sword was actually became his other arm, which was really cool. And also, like, his, his stub had the Triforce symbol on it. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. It was really cool, and it was, it was really cool, and we really chilled. Man, I wish we still had our notes on this, because this shit was cool. Like, this shit was, like, we had it planned. We also had our own Zelda timeline, because, you know, everyone has a Zelda timeline. We, we had one that was pretty actually compared to like the official one that came out a couple years ago ours was pretty close keep in mind it didn't have skyward sword in it but ours was very close um but yeah um so yeah uh, like this like when i heard about this tetra force there i'm like a fortress i was like oh like damn my we can't we can't even put this like, cause seriously, like, we didn't know about, the, like, I, I know it's like, 
on the video, like said something's all wiki. It's like we never saw that. I still ha- have not seen it. Um, I don't know what really is detailed there, but yeah, yeah, that's cool. And um, I just wanted to kind of kick that out because I just I couldn't couldn't just keep it in my head longer. And it's just it was one of the coolest things that. I think I ever kind of do with my friends, because you know I, I did that a lot, kind of growing up. I, I, I did we 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 went outside, we played with Nerf guns and foam swords, and we LARPed basically. You know we role played, we, we role played. It was really kind of our introduction to D and D, really that, and that's why we kind of still play D and D, and why I'm, yeah, but yeah. Anyway, fourth try, fourth piece. I don't want to take a that I created it, but I was one of the first um, that that I know of, me and my friend. Um, and I'm kind of, I'm a little flattered that it's made it kind of, other people have thought about it. I really am. They, didn't, they haven't thought about it to the extent we did. But yeah, I'm just trying to remember exactly what all the story was, because we had so much story. For this, and to the point we actually got like one of those old like RPG makers. Like we were trying to make our game, which was that was fun. Yeah, that, that didn't end well. But yeah, um, this thread. Oh, um, also try. Um, that was actually one of my first D and D characters. I named Try, and although he wasn't like a like a he was a sorcerer, but yeah. He was level three. Yeah, he was my first character. My first true character. My first character was actually a Dwarven Ranger, but my first one that I wrote on an actual D&D character sheet using third edition rules, having 3.5 rules, was Try. Human Sorcerer. But yeah, um, that was cool. And basically, I probably should not play so Probably The way I kind of, the way I look at Try now is more of like he was a Triforce Paladin. Fuck with sword arm. Yeah. Yeah. Shit's awesome. But yeah. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this story. I know it doesn't really go much. Um I'd love to I love to hear your stories about stuff you used to do when like with friends when you were a kid in your backyard or maybe you still do. Maybe you have some cool LARP stories. But yeah. Really cool. Tetra Force or the fourth Triforce space. Really cool idea. And, um, yeah. Me and my friend, we basically created the first part. We should have copied that, copyrighted that one. We had the chance. <laughs> Actually, we should still. But anyway, yeah. I'm John. Happy gaming. And some of those ideas you have when you're a kid might just make it on the internet someday. Live long and prosper.